Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to share a bit of information with you about this pretty cool gadget called the Pet Cube. Uh, now, getting into survival situation, emergency situations, things of that nature. Well, the one thing that uh, this really does have in common uh, with our application is the fact that most of us are always out there training. Uh, we lead uh, active lifestyles. And uh, people like myself, that their pets are basically like their kids, <laughs> this uh, little invention makes uh, sense to me. Because there's a lot of times that I'm out there in the field and working with natural training center members or even working on testing out gear. And uh, sometimes I can't have my dogs with me. And, you know, having that on my mind and wondering what they're doing, wondering if they're safe, uh, kind of takes away from what I'm doing and the mental aspect of it. And uh, it's really nice to be able to grab my phone, click on a couple buttons, and be able to look at my dogs, interact with my dogs. So uh, let's take a closer look at this pet cube. So as you unbox the uh, pet cube, you can tell it comes in this little four inch by four inch cube or square. Uh, pretty attractive looking. So it's something that if you have sitting on your entertainment center like I do in your bedroom, anywhere in your home and people do come over, it's not an eyesore. All right, it doesn't look like something that popped out of the 1980s. It actually looks pretty cool. So that's uh, definitely an added bonus. Uh, comes with a USB cable, uh, standard USB here. And also comes with the adapter so that you can plug it in to uh, the electricity. And uh, of course comes with a little manual, uh, retail packaging uh, with information on how to get started. But uh, luckily you have this review, so I'll go ahead and show you how to get started. Well, the first thing you really want to do is go ahead and download the uh, Pet Cube app. So you'll be able to get that if you're on Android, you'll get it in the Play Store. If you're on uh, an Apple device, you can get it from the Apple Store and it is free. So you want to go ahead and download that and uh, we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so I dug up an old cell phone for the purpose of uh, this review. And what I want you to keep in mind is that PetCube recommends that you disable your mobile uh, or cellular service while you're performing this install. So only your Wi-Fi should really be connected. Uh, go ahead and activate it, obviously, once you do configure uh, your PetCube and uh, turn, on the, uh, turn the uh, mobile or cellular service back on. But for the purposes of configuring, make sure that it's off. Only your Wi-Fi should be on. Uh, now, I went ahead and already downloaded the PetCube app. Uh, I happen to be using a, an older Android phone. And you have two options here, either sign up or sign in. So if you haven't used this before, you want to go ahead and sign up and create uh, your credentials. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and just sign in and uh, input my uh, credentials since I have uh, created an account already for the purpose of uh, this review. All right, so I went ahead, put my credentials in there. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And we are in to the app. Now you can tell up here in the top left is a little drop down menu. And this is where you'll have access to all of the features. Uh, you can tell here that uh, Connect Pet Cube is uh, kind of what we want to click on to go ahead and configure uh, the actual Pet Cube. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. I have the uh, micro USB already connected to my power source. Behind here on a pet cube, you can tell that there is uh, the little connection here. So I'll attach the uh, micro USB. You can tell the light comes on here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my app. And I'm going to click on connect pet cube. Once again, connect pet cube camera. I'll click on that. And you'll have your directions up here. So it's telling me to go back here. And you can tell on the back this is where our start button is okay so on the back top right and it wants me to hold it down for three seconds so I'm gonna go over here you can tell the light just turned to amber and I'm gonna hold it down for three seconds and we're looking for it to turn green it went ahead and turned green so I will let go of the uh, power button that is on the back I'm gonna go ahead and slide it make sure the green light is blinking on the bottom of the pet cube which it is. Bringing it over to here, make sure that the Wi-Fi is on, which it is, and connect pet cube, connect to pet cube network. So I'm going ahead and clicking on that. It's doing its thing, stating that it's connecting. Obtaining pet cube data. 
still going checking permissions registering connecting to PetCube network saving registration data telling me what do I want to connect to I'll go ahead and put in my password it's connecting to my wireless network once again doing what it has to do to configure up here start using PetCube so you can see everything that's going on here a little bit of delay but it's still configuring doing what it has to do and I'll give you a much better uh, viewpoint on this I just wanted to do this for the purpose of setting up the camera and connecting you can also tell that the light is blue here and when the light is blue it means that it is actually streaming so just another fail safe to think about if you see that blue on, uh, light on and you're not really doing anything with your app you know something's up somebody might be watching so uh, make sure that you uh, take that into account now I went ahead and adjusted the uh, pet cube to give you a little bit of a better angle of what I was doing here uh, rather than filming me uh, from below the waist so once again you're on the pet cube here all right, so I'm out here with the pet cube uh, in my backyard. A little bit of a glare, but hopefully you'll uh, get the gist of it. So what I'm doing here is going ahead. App is open. Click on my uh, pet cube here. The app begins to do its thing. I'm trying to keep that glare out of there. And what I did is uh, kept it set up in my living room, which is usually where uh, my dogs congregate. And a couple of them are outside here. But uh, the mini dachshund is actually inside on the couch. And there she is right there, and my little Jack Russell hanging out in the corner. Okay, so I'm opening up the uh, Pet Cube app here with everything configured. Top left, drop down the menu. You can tell that my uh, Pet Cube is green here, so it's active and it's good to go. So I'll go ahead and press on that uh, my Pet Cube to go ahead and access it. It's opening up. And here we go. So if you could tell, I have my little dachshund here. Jack Russell Terrier's in the middle. And we have our pit bull taking up half the couch there on the left. So that's usually, like I said earlier, where they do congregate. Now if you see here, there's a little access, a little circle here. So if we click on that circle, that basically brings up the uh, menu that's here on the left. And you can either go back, you have different tips, uh, you can share uh, your information if you'd like to uh, with either friends or just in public uh, you can turn on the sound here so that there is a uh, an intercom let's say so that you could go ahead and if you could tell I have my TV on so now it's picking up the sound of the TV in the background just to give you uh, an explanation and I'm relatively close so you're getting a little bit of a feedback uh, most likely from the uh, microphone on this phone and the microphone on the pet cube itself so keep that in mind but for the purpose of this demonstration I wanted to keep it simple and uh, you know I'm sure that you could get it so once again you can go ahead and click on the sound itself and it'll deactivate down here in the bottom you see the laser alright so whenever it's yellow that means it's on or it's active uh, when it's not you can go ahead and click on it and then anywhere that you would press here that laser would go um, obviously the Jack Russell is really the only one that reacts to this out of my uh, dogs. The only one that seems to pay attention. And right now he's passed out on the couch. But uh, I'll show you a little bit later more about this, uh, this laser. Once again, if you want to get rid of the uh, menu, just go ahead and press on that circle. Sorry that I'm pressing multiple times, but I'm looking through the viewfinder on my camera rather than at the actual phone. So uh, <clears throat> just bear with me uh, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. Now if you see here on the bottom, you have a little uh, picture of a camera so if I were to press that it would go ahead and take a uh, snapshot so right there it took a snapshot it asks me uh, do I want to share it you know whatever or done just go ahead and uh, press on the uh, the question mark itself and it's saved to my gallery uh, right below that you'll see a picture of a movie camera 
So right now it's recording video. You see it counting down two seconds, three seconds, you know, so on and so forth. All right, I can go ahead and hit stop on the, uh, the video itself and the video saved to my gallery. All right, so fairly simple as far as all of this stuff works. Uh, also keep in mind that there's uh, different ways to configure. All right, so there is a settings section here where you can go ahead and calibrate your uh, laser. So, uh, you know, a lot of times in the box, things shuffle around during delivery, and you want to make sure that it is calibrated. So you want to go ahead and do that in the, uh, the settings itself, which you'll find uh, pretty much in the main menu. So to get to that screen, I just kind of went back. Top left here, we'll uh, pull down the uh, drop-down menu, and you can tell we have settings here. And down on the settings is where you have all of your information, password, anything else that you want to fill in, uh, avatars, your... Uh, more private information, so on and so forth. But you can see here you have your laser configuration, so you could go ahead and click on that. Uh, your share pet cube camera, uh, all of this stuff. So make sure you check everything else out in there. If you want to, you could always come down here, and this is where you would disconnect the camera and kind of start all over uh, for whatever reason. If you would need to do that, uh, sound detection, you could turn it on or off. Motion detection, you could turn it on or off. So there's all sorts of features, and as usual, I'm going to put a lot of information in the blog post. So make sure that you go ahead and uh, check that out so that you could uh, make the right decision if this is something that you would like to add, uh, you know, to your gear or to your security gear or just to your comfort gear. Um, you know, as I stated, stated earlier, all of us, uh, you know, we pretty much have these active lifestyles. And when we're practicing everything that we're trying to practice here <laughs> for emergency pur purposes and survival purposes, you know, we want to make sure that we address everything so that we get the most of uh, our experience. And like I said, if my dogs can't be with me, you know, that peace of mind of being able to keep an eye on them, um, you know, is just something that is uh, extremely valuable um, for me. And uh, if you do find it valuable for you, make sure you uh, either check out the solution or check out something similar. So there's my uh, kids all chilling out in their normal area. And, uh, you know, pretty good picture. Uh, keep in mind, this is an older phone, uh, needs to be updated, all this other stuff. So it is lagging a little bit here and there. Uh, but when I do use my regular phone, a more newer, updated phone, uh, everything works pretty seamlessly. If you are having issues, a lot of times that is the internet connection, connection or your mobile and cell service. That's what I've found. Uh, because whenever I am near a good Wi-Fi or a strong signal, uh, the picture is relatively perfect. And like I said, even on an older camera like this. So make sure that you keep that in mind, uh, you know, handle all the techie stuff and, uh, you know, you'll pretty much get uh, everything out of the pet cube that you want to get out of it. So hopefully you can tell now why I uh, like the pet cube, why I endorse the pet cube and why I use the pet cube. It's just a peace of mind. It's almost like a, like I always speak about a little bit of uh, insurance. Uh, so when I'm out there, it's uh, one less thing that I really have to think about. And if I do think about it, I have access. Uh, pretty easy setup relatively inexpensive when you compare it to other stuff that's out there and uh, some pretty cool features such as the laser uh, and also like the intercom that uh, you know bodes well for uh, things that I need to uh, to uh, make myself happy all right when I'm uh, trying to interact uh, with my dogs or at least uh, viewing my dogs while I'm out there and um, hopefully I explained enough about the features and benefits for you to make a decision to see if uh, the pet cube is a device that uh, would be good for you and work for your lifestyle and uh, what you need as far as your uh, pet care, whether it is a cat, whether it is a dog, um, or anything else that you want to be able to look in on. Uh, keep that in mind. The other thing also that I want you to keep in mind is when I'm not utilizing the pet cube, I do keep it unplugged. Uh, I always have that paranoia, of course, with what I do as far as security features and who knows this or who knows that. So. You know, just an added bonus. I haven't heard anything. If it's set up correctly, you know, nobody's going to go ahead and, and tamper, you know, unless they really have a, a mission to seek you out. Uh, but in all actuality, there is plenty of security as long as it's uh, uh, configured correctly. And that's all up to you with the app, uh, which we already went over um, earlier. So um, make your best judgment. Uh, I definitely think it's uh, good to go. It's a product that I'm currently using. And uh, if you think that you can benefit from, the, from, benefit from this, uh, go ahead and uh, pick one up. They're always running specials. They're always running discounts. Uh, pretty reputable company. A pleasure to deal with as far as their customer support and interacting with them and learning more from them so that I could provide more of a thorough review for you. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.